Fallout 4 is finally getting the long-awaited and delayed next-gen update on console and PC. This free update to the game will arrive for everyone on April 25th, 2024. This update to the game aims to rejuvenate the already beloved game with enhanced graphics, performance improvements, and new content for players to experience. Before we get into it, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest Fallout news. Owners of the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series XS will experience Fallout 4 in unprecedented fidelity. The update introduces native applications for both of these consoles. Up to this point, Fallout 4 has only been available on these next-gen consoles via the PS4 and Xbox One versions of the game, and those versions can be limited in certain parts of the game's map, like Downtown Boston. Console players on Fallout 4's old-gen versions of the game often saw steep drops in performance around downtown Boston and would often lead to game crashes. One of the big things that's set to tackle this issue is that they will be incorporating two new display modes in Fallout 4 to offer further stability and performance within the game. The first display mode being added to the game is Performance Mode. This mode has become a lot more common in the next-gen version of games over recent years and will offer higher FPS in Fallout 4. The Performance Mode aims to maximize the player's frame rate to achieve smooth 60fps gameplay across the Fallout 4 map, but it will come at the cost of fidelity and the overall graphics being lowered. The second mode being added to Fallout 4 is a quality mode that aims to make the game look as good as possible but at the cost of lower frame rates. The quality mode will focus mainly on enhancing the graphical details and resolution of Fallout 4, making everything look better in the game. In addition to these visual enhancements, the next-gen update brings overall stability improvement and fixes to enhance gameplay fluidity and reduce bugs in Fallout 4. Players looking to enjoy these enhancements on next-gen consoles must already own a copy of the game for their respective platform. The update will be available for download directly on the console. PC players are not being left behind in this next-gen update. The new version introduces support for both widescreen and ultra-widescreen displays, allowing for a more immersive gaming experience. You were already sort of able to achieve this by downloading certain mods for Fallout 4, but it will be nice to have this natively in the game, and hopefully they have more of these features at launch in their future titles. In this next-gen update for PC players, further stability enhancements along with mods and bug fixes are included, especially beneficial for players using Steam, the Microsoft Store, and GOG. Additionally, Bethesda has addressed some login issues for Japanese and Chinese language players improving access to mods. With this next-gen update, Fallout 4 will also debut on the Epic Games Store and has been confirmed as Steam Deck Verified, expanding its accessibility and playability on portable platforms. This update is mostly for console players and to offer more stability with the power of these next-gen consoles, and the update mainly serves as an annoyance to PC players who are already able to do most of these updates themselves with mods. And now with this next-gen update to Fallout 4, mods will probably be broken for a while until they are fixed by the creators, assuming the creators are still around and willing to convert their mods to this new update. Another thing for PC players to keep in mind is that Fallout London, the game-sized mod for Fallout 4, is set to launch on April 23rd, only two days before the launch of this next-gen update. I'm not sure if this is on purpose or not, but it sure seems like it. If you're wanting to play this huge mod made by fans of the game, then you will probably want to turn off auto-updates on PC so that the next-gen update does not go through when it's released. I know this is difficult or impossible to do on Steam at this point, but you might be able to find some guides online. They will also be adding new Creation Club items to Fallout 4. The Enclave Remnants update brings a thrilling new questline titled Echoes of the Past. Players are tasked with confronting the remnants of the Enclave, a pre-war cabal, as they attempt to spread their ideology in the Commonwealth. This will likely not be that deep of a questline honestly and probably just be a single quest. Most of the content will probably be delivered through terminal entries and maybe some audio logs, but that's just a guess for me, honestly. This update also includes new items such as the Enclave Colonel uniform, weapon skins, and iconic gear like the Tesla Cannon and Hellfire Power Armor. In a more whimsical vein, the makeshift weapon pack offers players a range of unusual weapons, from a baseball launcher to a nail gun and even a picky bank. This pack encourages creative combat solutions in the game's post-apocalyptic setting. Lastly, the Halloween Workshop provides 38 new spooky-themed decorations, allowing players to dress up their settlements with items like witches, cauldrons, and ghouls. 
This pack is perfect for players who enjoy customizing their environment within the game. This free next-gen update for Fallout 4 on April 25th is more than just a technical enhancement. It's a rejuvenation of the game's world, bringing both quality of life improvements and new content to Fallout 4. Whether you're a veteran of the Commonwealth or a newcomer to the Fallout series, these updates offer fresh reasons to dive back into Fallout 4's expansive world. In a significant promotional tie-in with the launch of the Fallout TV series on Prime Video, Bethesda Softworks has announced a series of enticing offers for Fallout 76, including free-to-play for a limited time and new content inspired by the show. These offers are set to enhance the gaming experience for players and attract new and returning players to the post-apocalyptic world of Fallout 76. To mark the TV series debut, Fallout 76 will be available for free from now until April 18th across multiple platforms including Steam, Xbox, and PlayStation. This offer is not just a trial but provides full access to the entire game. Furthermore, players who subscribe to Prime Gaming can permanently add Fallout 76 to their library at no cost during this period. Following the free week, Bethesda is providing substantial discounts on Fallout 76. The standard edition of the game is at an 80% discount, reducing the price to just $8, and the deluxe edition of the game is at a 67% discount, bringing it down to $20. Additionally, existing owners of Fallout 76 can purchase the highest stakes bundle at a 50% discount. This bundle includes exclusive items like the honeypot, gold slot machine, civic duty power armor, and various camp items. The duration of these sales by platforms are as follows. The Xbox sale will go from April 9th to April 19th, the PlayStation sale will be from April 10th to April 24th, and the Steam sale will be from April 11th to April 19th. As a part of this promotion, Bethesda is integrating content directly from the Fallout TV series into Fallout 76. Players who log into the game by May 7th will receive the Vault 33 jumpsuit for free, and Game Pass Ultimate members will also get the Vault 33 Survival Kit, featuring Lucy's Vault 33 backpack and assorted consumables, enriching the game's narrative connection to the TV series. Both Fallout 76 and Fallout 4 have now been made accessible through cloud gaming via GeForce Now, allowing players to stream the games without requiring powerful hardware. Also, subscribers to Fallout 76's Fallout First service will gain exclusive access to the West Coast Duster and Hat from the in-game shop which is available through May 9th. Bethesda celebration extends beyond Fallout 76. The mobile version of Fallout Shelter will give access to new content themed around the TV series, and Fallout 3 and New Vegas are currently available for free for Prime subscribers on Luna. The launch of the Fallout TV series on Amazon Prime Video on April 10th has ignited a remarkable surge in popularity for the Fallout video game franchise. Bethesda Game Studios, the owners of the series, have capitalized on this excitement with significant updates and promotional activities, leading to a notable increase in player engagement across several different Fallout titles. The enthusiasm generated by the TV series combined with strategic updates from Bethesda has significantly boosted player counts for the franchise's games, particularly Fallout 3, Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. Fallout 3 has seen their peak players go from around 800 to over 2500, marking a 200% increase. This marks a significant resurgence for a game released over 15 years ago, demonstrating the enduring appeal of the Fallout universe. Fallout 4's peak player count has gone from around 18,000 to over 43,000. This spike in players comes just as Bethesda rolls out news of an upcoming much anticipated next-gen update for the game, enhancing its performance and graphics on newer consoles. Fallout 76 has seen their peak player count go from around 10,000 to over 19,000 players. This is the highest peak player count for Fallout 76 on Steam since 2020, reflecting renewed interest in Bethesda's latest titles in the series. The release of the Fallout TV series this past week has not only brought new fans to the franchise, but also reinvigorated the existing community of fans who have been waiting on Fallout 5 for ages now. The release of the Fallout TV series this past week has not only brought new fans to the franchise, but also reinvigorated the existing community of fans who have been waiting on the Fallout 5 game for ages now. This multimedia expansion has effectively introduced the post-apocalyptic world of Fallout to a broader audience, increasing visibility and interest in all related titles. Bethesda's overall collaborative efforts with Amazon Prime Video have enhanced the impact of the series, creating an effect that has boosted both viewership of the TV show and engagement with the game series. Bethesda has made a smart decision to align promotions for the games with the TV series release, such as offering Fallout 76 for free during a promotional week. 
Such incentives provide an easy entry point for new players and encourage former players to revisit the games. While there is currently no concrete news on the development of Fallout 5, the current boost in player engagement and the ongoing popularity of the franchise suggest that fans are eager for a new game in the series. Industry experts predict that a new installment could be several years away at this point, but the substantial interest in the series ensures a ripe audience for any future releases. We do know that Fallout 5 will come after the release of The Elder Scrolls 6, which is not planned to be released until probably 2028. I have heard some rumors online that suggest that the game could drop in 2026 around a new generation of Xbox consoles, but currently that is all just speculation. The Fallout franchise is experiencing a renaissance thanks to the successful launch of its TV adaptation and strategic game updates. With player counts reaching new heights and Bethesda's continued support, the legendary post-apocalyptic series remains a dominant force in the gaming industry. Fans old and new have ample content to enjoy as they traverse the expansive and ever-engrossing Fallout universe. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest gaming news. And if you're looking for something else to watch, click one of the videos you're seeing on screen right now for some more gaming news. I will see you there.